everybody, welcome back to the Design Make Play Show. I am Omar, your communication specialist, and here we have our other communication specialist, <laughs> Carla Vecino. She's a very hardworking member of our team, and today I thought we'd interview her just to showcase our staff in general and the diversity that we try to cultivate here at Zen Maker Lab. So, Carla, I gave everybody a brief introduction about you. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about yourself and how you got started here at Zen Maker Lab? Okay, my background is in communications, journalism, um, uh, PR. Um, I came uh, to work here at, at Zen Maker Lab uh, because I flew from Colombia and then I had the opportunity to meet Siri. So then he asked me like, hey, what about if you help me with UX and UI? And he said, UX, perfect. At that time, I was uh, taking courses related to social media and UX, and really interesting in people's behavior, right? And in communication, it's this kind of important second. So yeah, that is pretty much, that was my start a year ago, basically. All right, so when did you come to Canada? Um, I was really interested in learning English. I was working uh, in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I was press officer at that time. I had the opportunity to talk to Barack Obama, Ban Ki-moon, really important personalities, but always through a translator. So it was kind of crazy, right? Working in communications, working in a uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, press officer, and not English at all. Um, so my son at that time, he flew to the uh, United States. He won a scholarship. So then after trying just to find ways to keep my job, it was a pretty, pretty cool job. And um, studying English, I couldn't find the middle ground. And so I decided to quit my job and embrace this huge adventure mm -hmm. of learning English. It's a really, really long uh, learning curve. But I'm trying my best and I think it's beautiful when you have the opportunity to talk to people, learn about different cultures and um, English is universal, right? Mm -hmm. So it's beautiful the opportunity that I give myself. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you a little bit about that learning curve you endured, but before that, you met Barack Obama? Yeah! <laughs> I did not know we that. We have the opportunity, we organized a summit, was a, uh, was a, uh, the summit in Cartagena, it was a really big event that I was involved and it was so embarrassing <laughs> when it's just say hi to everyone and just say hi nice to meet you my name is Carolina because my name is Carolina Cifuentes Vecino my name is Carolina and that's all because I couldn't speak anything else so it's really sad like learning English, learning a language learning mathematics learning technology I think is key for mm -hmm. everyone mm -hmm. and everywhere Mm -hmm. No, that's interesting. So basically what inspired you to learn English and embark on this journey was more of like you got to meet a lot of people but you didn't get to interact with them on the interpersonal level that you maybe wanted to? Yeah, but it's, it's kind of a, a personal, right? It's a personal interest. But I think it was my son who really inspires me just to move forward. Mm -hmm. uh, when I saw him, okay, he left. He is living in the States, he is studying. Um, he's going to have his life in English. So if I want to have that chance of, if, if, of interacting, right? Mm -hmm. What I need is to learn English, right? So for me, it was super um, amazing when he introduced me, the other doctors, professors in his university, I was capable of understanding. Mm -hmm. And then when he introduced me, um, his friends, and everyone was like, oh, you are uh, Santiago's mom. Oh, we want to know you, you know? Th those kind of things are really meaningful. It's not just about work. It's more about family, friends, all the, all the possibilities that you open in front of yourself when you are learning, when you give yourself the opportunity of learning, learning language learning, uh, technology learning, so many things. It's huge. Mm -hmm. Has the learning curve and the journey been worth it? Yeah, I think it, it's hard, but it's worth it. Yes, of course, of course. What advice would you give to anybody, anybody watching this who may want to take that next step on embarking on something that they know might be difficult, but they feel they need to do, but maybe they're a bit fearful of actually taking the first step towards that goal? Uh, don't give up. Don't think twice. Uh, sometimes you in, you in general, 
everyone, all of us, we invest so much time thinking and thinking, and we overwhelm ourselves just overthinking. So instead of that, just take small steps. Uh, just don't forget your goal. Set a goal is super important. So many times I've been here, in, I think I was eight years, and I think. Uh, I don't know how many times I thought, okay, okay, I have just to go back to Colombia. Um, but then I said, no, why should I go back? I haven't finished what I, what I decided, right? So, and I still, I haven't. I have to improve my writing and I have to improve my pronunciation. So something that is really, and it's beautiful because it's art. So speaking and uh, writing is an art. Mm -hmm. So meaning like you have just to work on that every day, every day. A new book is going to give you a new vocabulary. A good book is an opportunity to learn about, I don't know, geography, history, arts, uh, so many things. So just, uh, yeah, just don't give up. And also it's kind of fun. Like uh, imagine like I had the opportunity through English, I had the opportunity to meet people from all over the world, mm -hmm. all over the world. It's not just... Canadians. Who is Canadians is people from all over, right? So yeah, I think it's mm -hmm. nice day. Complexity and novelty are actually dopamine triggers that can be how do you say they can be experienced through delayed gratification, which yes. is something that we're all about here. We're all about taking the sometimes it's easier it's better for you to take the harder way than to take the easier way. It's it's a delayed gratification hit versus a cheap dopamine hit, so it's good that you're telling our viewers about that. But in regards to Zen Maker Lab, how did you get started here? And how has your experience been working with, the, with everybody here at the Maker Lab? Um, I think it really helps me through the whole process. Um, just because there are, th there are things that you can't you imagine. Um, OK, how can I just, um, it's like a build. Right, it's try to build your um, communication abilities plus the technology, right? And it's something that is kind of complementary. They mm -hmm. complement each other. And when it came again, it came and my first project was uh, with a client. Can I say the name of the client? Absolutely. Okay, it was a uh, Trialto. Trialto Wine. They were just uh, planning to build a app. So when I started, I. Uh, the idea was okay, just think about what would be the best way for the user just to access the app. And we start that design and that was my first, that was my first, my first, my first project. So after that, um, we started just doing social media, something that I did in the past. Uh, messaging and uh, again, description of segments and population, then I tried to learn the offer that we have in here, right? That is STEAM, so it's everything. Science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. So it's just learning new, new, new tools, uh, new ways to communicate. So it's just fantastic. It has been fantastic for me. It's a non-stop and it's something that I really appreciate of having this opportunity for people like me, like maybe we like to learn new things, work with a bunch of new people like you and super young, I think is an opportunity that I'm really grateful for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely grateful to work here too. One thing that I like about this place is I get to work with a lot of really cool, intelligent people who genuinely care about what they do. Like Carla, I don't know if you know this, you probably don't, but she is actually a master's student too. So not only does she put in many hours a week trying to help us do what we do here, but she actually spends her weekends working on her master's. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your master's program? Oh, my master's is in project management. Um, so in communications, a lot of people believe like we we don't have a process in place. And I think the communications requires and demands so much organization. And I think that is why I decide, okay, I just want to make what I know, right? What I've done for a living uh, more strong like stronger and I embrace my project management and I won a grant um, so it was kind of good as well so yeah I think kind of a really good project. <laughs> 
Carl is a perfect example of a lifelong learner. She's already completed her degree, she has many certificates, she has had a great career as a journalist, yet she's still doing her master's. So think about that whenever you feel like maybe there's not much else to learn, or maybe you're too old for this, or et cetera, et cetera. There's always something you can learn. Like you'll never run out of books to read, you'll never find out, run out of resources to learn something from. So just a little bit of advice from Zen Maker. Um, looking forward, do you have any other plans beyond your master's, beyond work here at Zen Maker Lab? Um, what are some things you'd like to endeavor in the future? In the future, I really would like to pursue Access to Innovate. This is a project that we have here at Zen Maker Lab. Um, again, I think um, having the opportunity of learning um, open doors to everybody. Mm -hmm. You see the opportunity um, just to new just to go on no new places uh, so um, it's, it's an initiative that Siri um, thought about it I think a year ago when it came and we had the opportunity to to go to Colombia so um, I think yeah that would be for me uh, the project that, that I would like just to embrace completely uh, working with kids is just so fulfilling Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now, I would ask you a lot more questions regarding access to Innovate, but unfortunately we're running out of time, so maybe in another segment we'll elaborate on that. It's a very cool project that I think a lot of viewers will be interested in, and I myself are very interested in, so next time. For sure, Omar. Thank you for having me in this segment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And thank you all for tuning in. So, we hope you guys enjoyed the show. We hope you enjoyed the interview, our segments, the maker highlights and engineering tributes with Zachary, Ella giving us the schedule in the morning. And yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow.